Hey everybody, this is Orlando Williams. Today we're doing another Lego review. What's on um, Lego Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey, ages um, seven, nine, double, three, ages nine to fourteen, set Unexpected Gathering. The characters come with Gandalf the Grey, Bilbo Baggins, Balin the Dwarf, Dwalin the Dwarf, Buffalo Dwarf, and Bumble the Dwarf. So it comes with quite cool characters. It says it there as well onto the back of the box it shows you like scenes of what you can do like you could have Bilbo writing a map or a book mm. it comes off with the weapons and you can have Gandalf on the door and stuff okay. so let's go on to the set so we've got the set here first we may as well take a look at the minifigures first we have Gandalf Le Grey as you he looks like more wizardry than he does as white. You probably all have him, all Lego Lord of the Rings fans, because he's not a super rare character. He's got like his wizard hat. Um, he's got like his beard and his staff. It would have been cool if they made the staff different or put like a stone on top of it. And it comes with back printing. And underneath the beard, it does come with front printing. Next, we have Bilbo Baggins. I this Bilbo Baggins is a really rare one in like his dungarees and stuff. The Shire cost the Shire suit of suit of him. <coughs> um, he's got like his front printing. He is a double faced character. He's got a happy face and like a worried face his hobbit here and like his dungarees and stuff so yeah that's Bilbo and we have Baal in the dwarf now it, like his hair piece with his beard is like a quite neat um, piece of the, uh, character his sword is like a plain one that you would get usually with um, the, like other dwarves so just like a plain sword. Um, his hair piece is really neat. It's like his beard and his hair is built into one. He is a double faced character again. Um, <coughs> yeah, he has his cape and he does have back printing. Next we have Dwal in the Dwarf. Now this is probably my favourite dwarf that I got. He's got like his hammer. It's like the staff of the Gandalf stick and then just some stone parts. It's like a hammer. He, there is, it, he is not a double faced character because of like his tattoos. <coughs> and he has front printing. And back printing. Uh, next we have Buffer. He has his like pickaxe. <coughs> um, yeah. He has his front printing and his hat piece is a really nice, neat thing as well. Part of his hair is attached to it, and it's like a woody hat. He is a double faced character. So he's nice. Last we have Bomber. Now he is a funny looking character. As a weapon, he has like a frying pan, which is quite funny. Um and um sorry about that, it's an iPad. Um he has like um his hair piece and as you would imagine this he was fat. But um he has it's like the fat piece isn't built into him. It's built into the hair piece and uh, he's quite nice you can see some front printing with back printing right on to the set then so sorry about that last night I've had someone facetiming me so um this is the set as you can see it looks really cool just from the front of the house and it's got some really nice detail to it. Uh, 
his windows are really nice, really, really, I would say to me. He has in this little bot barrow with like carrots and an apple. This, it's got this, a nice bushy pot. These are really rare, I would say. Uh, last time I seen one of these in my sets is from Weathertop. Uh, yeah, he has his bench that he smokes on, and it's got loads of flower pieces. It's got it's got it on the side as well, and they're really fiddly. <coughs> yeah, he has like a little lamp here, a chimney, and the tree I like. It's like it's just nice. It's like you wouldn't think that it has it, but it's a really nice piece to the set. It's got to like to leaf part here and the roof does come off just gotta be gentle yeah it's attached to like eight studs four studs on every side so that's the roof as you can see there's the studs and the carrots are growing here I'll tell you that Right, onto the inside of the set. Oh yeah, that fell. Got up on the back. Okay, so it's like a nice piece. And if you've got the Gandalf or Ivan set, you could use that as well. So this is like used for like two sets, like Isengard. And um, so this is the inside of the house. He's got like his maps here. And you would think that's just a loose piece, that piece of the map. It's actually attached to a small stud. And like put it angled. <coughs> and he's got a chest and it's got like I've just put the knives in and there's like um a uh, shovel here. <coughs> Sorry for that. I've just gotta move back off. Um he's got, there's like the dinner table. Here's like the dinner table. Um it's like these loose on the plates. This bread piece always falls down. This is a nice piece of thing, even though it's a piece of bread. Um, so he's got, so there's like the grapes and the cups. Um, the, it's really fiddly, mine keeps falling. Oh, leave it. Um, I don't know why, it's a bit weird, but they've added like the sting here. But he doesn't have sting, if you can remember from the film. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's sting here. Um, he has like a broomstick and the door does open, for God's sake. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there is a little mark on the door. There is a little mark on the door that Gandalf puts. Um, the reason that I like it is because um, he, they have added stuff to it that is very unusual that you wouldn't think they would add. So there's the mark on the door. And then he has a furnace here with a frying pan and like another frying pan. <coughs> um, they've added a really nice set. It's his writing desk. And the book does have the double B for Bilbo Baggins. Like it does on the book. Yes, you can put that later. They've put like an envelope here with a bottle. So um, yeah, this set is is like the most peaceful set that they've made for the Middle Earth trilogy out of Lego. So uh, if you want to see me again, go on to Lego videos on YouTube or um, follow me on Facebook, Orlando Williams. So, um, sorry about that, I said about the YouTube and stuff. Um, and in the future, I'm going to be doing some more sets and um, here they are. We have Helm's Deep that I'm going to do. I'm going to be doing Dol Guldur as well with an extra piece from the Battle of Five Armies. As well as that, I'm going to be doing um, the Goblin Town. And I'm going to be doing Weathertop as well. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you want to follow me, like I said, um, go on to Lego videos on YouTube or follow me on Facebook. Bye.